I'm going to cover the six data types in R and we're starting right now. So a few minutes ago, I've tweeted about the R data types. And so I've summarized it as follows. So the first data type in R is numeric and numeric could be an integer. It could also be a decimal, a floating point or a, a double. And the second data type is an integer. And so an integer will have to be specified by adding a L at the end. And so I'm going to show you in just a moment if we type in five or if we type in five L, what's the difference between those two? And the third data type is logical and by logical is true or false. So it's the condition. And the fourth data type is character. And so if you're coming from Python, you might know this as string. And so character could be a single character. It could either be using a single quotation mark or it could be using a double quotation mark. But don't mix the two. Don't begin with a single quotation mark and end with a double quotation mark. So be consistent and have either a single quotation mark or double quotation mark and two words as in data science is also a character and even the number 100 if you put it inside a quotation mark it'll be a character as well the fifth data type is complex complex number and so an example would be 5 plus 5i and the sixth data type is raw and for example the words data science if we are to make it into a raw data type, it's going to be storing the information as follows here, 64, 61 until 65. And so you could use the character to raw function in order to convert data science into this format of R of raw. Okay, so the four common data types that we're going to be seeing a lot when you're doing data science projects is the first four that I have listed here. Okay, so let's launch the R prompt. So if you have already installed R, you can now launch the R command prompt. And so you could either go to terminal or you could go to the PowerShell or you could even go into your R studio. Okay, but I'm going to use the R command prompt here. So I'm typing in R in the terminal. Okay, and then I'm going to get the R loaded. And in order to clear all of this message that you see here, I'm going to type command L on my MacBook. Or if you're on a Windows, or a Ubuntu, you could type in Control L, okay? So using the sh keyboard shortcut, Control L or Command L, like so, and it will clear the screen. So this comes in handy when you're typing information in and then you wanna clear it, Command L, okay? Okay, so let's start with the first data type, which is numeric. So for example, if I'm creating a variable called a and then I'm assigning a value of two. And let's see if I want to determine the data type, I'm going to type in class and then A and then they get numeric. And let me try again. If I say B is 3.14 class B is also numeric and let's create a C variable. And let's say I'm assigning a value of five L, which is the integer. Let's see the class. And so now it's an integer. However, if we have the same number, but without the L, it is a numeric. And so in order to make it in integer form, you have to add L after the number. Okay, so the third data type is the logical. For example, if we say like true, class of E would be logical. Okay, so the same thing for false. Like for example, if you say A is equal to B, it's not, it's false, okay? So what if I say I created another variable, F equals to two, and I say A is equal to F, is that true? Yes, it's true because A and F both has a value of two. Okay, so moving on to the fourth data type, which is character. Let me create a variable G and I'll put an A in here, but with the quotation. And so class, so it's character. But if I say G and A like that, let's see what happens. So what it will essentially do is that it's going to assign the value of two, which is already assigned to A, and then it's going to assign it to G. And therefore, because A had a value of two, as shown above here, and we're assigning G to have the same value as 
the variable a, which is 2. So notice that with quotation, it is a character, but without quotation, it is a variable, okay? And so if you have two words, it is also a character. If you have a number inside the quotation mark, it is also a character. If you have a double quotation, it's going to be also a character. However, let's try out using a mix match of double quotation and then ending with a single quotation. So you're going to see that there's going to be an error. So it is expecting the code to be unfinished. Okay. And so in order to abort this, I have to hit the keyboard combination of control C. Okay. And let's move on to the complex data type. So example is five plus five I class L. So it is complex. And the last data type, number six, we're going to use the character to raw function. And then we're putting in data science as the input argument, class M. And so you see that the data type is raw. So if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to smash the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.